Sagittarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Tarot, it is a message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is an intuitive reading, so please take the energies where and how they resonate. This is your reading, and feel free to leave the comments below. I love to know what's going on with you guys if you want to share. If you want the full astrology breakdown, brick by brick, I take it apart every single week for Sagittarius and all 12 zodiac signs on my second YouTube channel, Astrology Motivation, where I dig down into the actualities of the astrology each week. This is an intuitive, check that channel out and I hope you subscribe over there too. This is an intuitive reading. It comes to you when you're ready to hear it, when you need to hear it, it's timeless. Um, if you want a personal reading, I do do those only through my website, guys. There's no, I, have, I don't have a telephone number for my business. I don't have WhatsApp. I don't have any of that. So only through my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. It's pretty basic. I also have personally designed astro astrology and zodiac inspired merchandise that I hope you guys love as much as I do. Um, there's some sort of deception here. Yeah, some sort of deception. It says obedience. See that? Obedience. But it's almost like obedience at the risk of letting your true self out or letting yourself be exposed. Like you're trying to personally contain something that doesn't really want to be contained, feeling you have to put a look on in order to get through the day or feeling like in some ways you're an imposter, which could just be what you're feeling. It doesn't have to be actually true. It just could be that, you know, this is how, this is the way that you're feeling. But let me draw some cards and see what is going on. Who is this sneaky Pete? Page of Swords, a message that's come through. It's usually in the form of some email or DM or some, something like that. Something like that. Um, we have a Page of Swords here right and then we have the strength card here and then we have the king of pentacles here um so you're going up against somebody who's very important somebody who is dignified and somebody who basically you want to impress but i don't think you feel significant in front of them i don't think you feel like you can carry the conversation in front of them but they do have something that you want so it is intuitively I felt this a sense of you feel like an imposter but you're not it doesn't mean that you actually are it just means that you're feeling this way or it seems this way this could also be like trying to curb the beast inside that there's some reason why it's like almost like you want to be more dignified or like somebody that you're talking to king of pentacles is capricorn virgo taurus usually a masculine somebody who's large and in charge uh usually could be a boss a boss figure definitely it's almost like you're going in to talk to a, an authority figure of some kind and you feel like you have to hide something or that something is hidden here maybe even anger it's like you want to say something but this is all right now just conjecture you know what let's what is this boy called? what is this obedience you're trying to be a good little Sagittarius for some reason what is this what is this it, youth once again we have youth maybe are you working with children doing something with children or some sort of childhood because it seems like there's kind of been a sneaky peek in somebody basically is I don't know it, it's like they're innocent but at the same it's like they're young but at the same time they're uh, not really accountable for their behavior it's like some somebody snuck something in right under your nose that's kind of what it is it, it feels like that somebody snuck something in right under your nose what is this I'm sure all Sagittarius is want to know too this is Sagittarius, God. What are you talking about? Once again, we have some sort of message or decision. Being able to clearly decide and clearly articulate a disappointment. It's, it's, it's a conversation about something that really pissed you off or disappointed you. You lost something. You have five of swords and you have the five of cups. It's almost a sense of you lost something. That's coming out in the future. It's like you lost something that you never had, but you expected to have it. 
but now it feels like you're never gonna have it because somebody revealed the truth this was a truth that came out a message that came to you and now there's just this sense of disobedience Diso disobedient youth that's what I'm getting disobedient youth or maybe you've already decided that in some ways you think you've already failed is this true has Sagittarius already failed yes or no no Knight of Cups is here to have faith is basically the message I honestly okay let me say this to you I think people liked you a hell of a lot more than you think they did and if it were based on their heart they would have chosen you I don't think this opportunity is actually over um, there is a sense of demonstrating or showing something that has been contained or putting yourself out there like and that can feel very vulnerable putting yourself out there to somebody who was very contained and doesn't respond back or show back what they're feeling but I'm gonna let you know this no happy birthday Doug Denny I'm gonna let you know this right now they actually like you intellectually I think you're you think you didn't do well or there was some news that came in that said oh you know you didn't get it but something comes after what do you mean God let's choose let, let's choose a moon card Sagittarius what do you mean what, what do you mean something is coming after don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. This opportunity is coming back around in the not too distant future. And it's saying don't let pride get in your way because honestly you feel a little slighted and a little bit pissed off. But this is a sense of it is coming back online. It is coming back around. Don't let pride get in your way if you still want it or you're still open to him, her, they, whatever situation this is. Take it freaking take it balance spirituality and practicality what is that supposed to mean I hate that card I'm just gonna let you guys know I hate that card because for me it's just too ambiguous balance spirituality and practicality you could be letting your imagination run wild you could be letting your feelings run wild and there is that sense of, okay, but what do you really see? What's really going on here? Like, look, use your logic. Because your logic is going to cut through all the emotions or delusions. Okay. Can you clarify this for me? What, what the heck do you mean by this, really? Because you presented yourself very strong. Page of Cups, this is a new opportunity, new love. And Nine of Cups, this is an offer, an offer that you are going to really love, really care about, and just be filled to the brim with. This is Nine of Cups afterward. Uh, Four of Swords means in reflection, so they're giving it to you, or somebody is thinking about you, thinking about how happy things had been, or they're kind of like not reminiscing, but going over it reviewing so four of swords means reflection and then two of swords is oh oh maybe we should have chosen a different way right maybe we should have made a different selection so you have king of cups and i mean sorry page of cups and nine of cups which is very happy and very exciting and very new right and then we have four of swords taking a break taking a break maybe to think about things a little bit more or a few weeks are going to go by this could even be that it's going to take maybe a couple of days or um it could be like a time frame right a sense of four days four weeks whatever it is it's like this is in review because they're having a hard time making a decision this is your life i don't really know how this is playing out you let me know in the comments below but I want some details. 
what is this in regards to? And why do we have this defiant little boy? Wolf in sheep's clothing. The emperor. Okay, hold on. What, what do you mean? There's some sort of authority figure here, somebody who has more power than the other person that can decide or make a decision beyond them. Right? Also a sense maybe to take the authority or the personal authority to take action. Maybe maybe moving away. I don't know what that is. Hold on. Seven of Pentacles is in reverse in the past. Giving up hope, complete failure, complete stagnation. Nothing has worked out. But I think that's not the case anymore. Because we come over here. It's like, don't let a prideful person get in your way or don't let your pride make you back down and not confront this person or not go back and maybe say, I deserve this or I'm worth this. The sense of there needs to be you going back and asking why or, you know, I don't know how, just um, The Emperor and the Two of Wands. That's taking action to go in a different direction. What do you mean? Stop. Let's review. What do you want Sagittarius to do, God? What do you want Sagittarius to do? Six of Cups. Go home. Be around friends. Act like a child again. Be hopeful and be open. This is more childhood reminiscence maybe you were defiant as a child or somebody you know was defiant as a child five of cups is here again what do you want them to do it's almost like making amends six of cups and three of cups people are happy to see you why is there five of cups here it's almost like somebody's happy to see you from the past that you would have expected wouldn't even have cared to see you this would have been something somebody that you kind of sort of knew and you would think that you know that you remember them as being very disappointing or not welcoming or whatever but no they were really happy to see you i think it just bought back good times And there's forward progress that's coming from this. This is actually being able to make the decision to, this is a, a new direction for you. And the emperor is here saying, you know, vitality and personal authority or, it's almost like it could be this friend or this unexpected friend or unexpected help that kind of helps to move things along for you this week. What is this with regards to? What is this with regards to? Nine of Swords. Something you're really stressed about. Or a sickness. No, but I, I, for me, this is, this is you being stressed. It's you being stressed or really upset. Okay, why are they upset? Should they be upset? Nine of Pentacles. Once again... You're stressed, you're upset about this. It's like it's like you're you're worried like it's nine of swords, like it's keeping you up at night, like frustrating, worried, worried, worried. But nine of pentacles came out, dude. This could be about a raise or a pay grade increase. This could just be like people giving you your credit, people giving you your dues for being through a stressful situation and being able to handle and deal with very stressful situations. There's been lots of disappointment in your life here, but this ain't going to be one of those freaking times. What is this time going to be? For Sagittarius this week, what is this time going to be? We're going to find out in the extended. I love you guys. Come on over with me. Links down below, up above, attached to the top of the comments section. I'll see you over there.